What's good, YouTube? I'm on YouTube here, back again, once again. And today, today, I unfortunately have some very awful news for you guys. It saddens me to say that this week's top five, our top five psychic types, is not yet ready yet due to things out of my control. And it's very upsetting because the series brings me a lot of happiness. I'm very proud of it. I'm very uh, excited to sit down and edit it and go out and record it every single week. But I guess it's just a very bad time in the world to have such a creative idea that requires you to go out and about so much, especially when things are in such restriction. Couple that with the fact that not a lot of people that practice in the professions that I am interested in recording for top five psychic types are interested in being recorded while they practice their profession. I don't know why I'm talking like this. I've been watching Deadwood lately, so that vernacular, that vocabulary is on the brain. Either way, this was something that I knew was going to happen. I knew that every single week we weren't going to have an episode ready to go because eventually something would either get rescheduled or I'd end up waiting on an appointment here or there. And that seems to be the case for our top five psychic types. Between the holidays and two or three appointments having to be rescheduled again and again and again because of the holidays. Still waiting to hear back on a phone call um, from one lady. But it saddens me, especially this early on into the series, but I think that we're going to skip over top five psyche types for right now, and next week we'll choose a different type and continue on from there. To make up for it, however, I have a little bit of a sneak peek to a series that I've been planning that is top five adjacent. It's kind of like a behind the scenes-esque um, expansion kind of on top five because we go a lot of places we do a lot of things but you only get to see two or three minutes for each entry on the countdown of course in our adventures and our time there we do more than just what's required for the top five so for the first entry in this behind the scenes series we have a full vlog detailing our skydiving experience and our adventures a brand new episode of sword and shield went up earlier today we have an hour of power on the Fitlock coming tomorrow. Saturday should be a episode five of Genlock, which should have a few twists in it. And our next vlog from Collection One should be going up this weekend. And I think Hector might be joining us for it as well. So once again, I apologize. I'm very sorry for not having top five ready to go. It really hurts my heart. It really aggravates me in lots of different ways, but we'll get that ship righted and back on course. Until then, I hope you guys enjoy the early access, the sneak preview to new stuff to come. But <clears throat> thank you guys so much for understanding and thank you so much for your patience. If it was up to me, it would just be bada bing, bada boom, done, ready to go. Here you have it. But sometimes... <sighs> but I'm going to stop babbling now. Bye! Oh, right there's someone, we just pulled up to this place and someone's parachuting. Ah, that's gonna be us. What's up guys? Today we are risking our lives. Well, it's good YouTube. That's what I need to You're back again once again today. People today, it's bright as fuck outside. And what are we doing today, Hector? We are going to fall off an airplane. Jump out of an airplane. Hey, there it is. <laughs> So you guys, we've made it. This is Kristen, and she's, how nervous are you to go skydiving? Not yet. Not yet. Not yet nervous. Not yet. So we went skydiving once before, Hector and I, but the weather was way too bad and we couldn't go. Um, but the nerves didn't hit me until we get there and you have to sign like, oh, if I die, I won't sue. You know, I know this activity is putting my life at risk, but our skydiving isn't until later today. First, we're gonna go indoor skydiving, cause you know, top five, we gotta get different entries and whatnot, but I'm excited. Kristen, you said you've been indoor skydiving before? I have. Were you scared? No, it was a blast. It was in Las Vegas. Is it like an amusement park ride? Or is it uh, like? No, it's like you're in a giant jumping castle. Whoa. With a giant fan in the middle. Whoa. <laughs> I'm ready for that. Yes. There are more people landing. I don't even know if you can see them. Ah, where did they go? I can't even see them. 
No, I mean on the camera. They're so tiny. So we are the indoor skydiving. And they gave us free shots. How dope though, right? Look at the back. If you have any health related issues that may affect the enjoyment of your flight, such as neck or back injuries or prior shoulder dislocations. This is what a proper skydiving body position looks like. Your arms are at a 90 degree angle at eye level. Perfect. And you do each thing until I give you a thumbs up, okay? That would be thumbs up, you don't need to do it. Your arms are going to be more here. Okay, you want to be able to see your hands a little bit. All right, go ahead on. Point your toes. Perfect. Chin up. Awesome. Your arms look great, man. I think you want to be relaxed, right? So your, keep your fingers on one point. All right, there you go. Come on. Next person. There you go. Perfect. And be up. Your arm's gonna be right here. Got it? Alright. We're good to go. Oh, I have to take my glasses off too. Whoa. Now we're good to go. Uh, we're ready to go. I feel like an astronaut. What? I feel like I'm gonna be shot out of a cannon. What'd you say? I can't hear you. I can't hear you. We have uh -huh. earplugs in. It's official. Like a riffle. Be with a whistle. I feel like everything I say I'm yelling.
Okay, so crazy. Oh, there's more people skydiving. Wait, hold up, look. They're skydiving down right now. That dude just landed over there. Whoa. Hey, that's gonna be us next. Ooh, that's gonna be us next. So anyways, wait, we're zoomed. No, wait, wrong zoom. When we did the second minute and we went in and homeboy started spinning me. Oh, I wasn't ready for that. They didn't mention anything about that, you know. I went in there the first time and you know, you kind of just hang there and do whatever. And then the second time, they don't say shit. Homeboy just slides the visor down and it's go time. Spinning all around, like what the fuck? Oh, oh. I wonder if anyone's ever vomited while skydiving before. <laughs> So I'm not speaking anything into existence except for this. My arm will not dislocate while I skydive today. My arm will not dislocate while I skydive today. Or your legs. Or my legs. When we did the indoor, my booty cheek is a little sore because my leg just got yanked while we were flying in the air. I want to see someone jump. Oh my god. There's so many parachutes. That's crazy. You can hear them land. Those are solo, whoa, solo jumpers. Which means they're experienced. There's like five or six more parachutes up here. Look, there's two for one. That's so dope. And they literally just appear out of the sky. Hey, that's how I want to land. Woo. So smooth. So clean with it. Time has finally come. Our appointment, our reservation to jump out of a plane and risk our lives is in less than 10 minutes. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit nervous watching these people land. I think the scariest part is gonna be landing on the ground because you have to like twist and turn and all this shit before you finally land. I don't know about that. I think jumping out of the plane itself won't be that bad because you're so high up, you know, it's just everything. But I don't know. We'll see. But are you nervous, Hector? For some strange reason, no. But then I hear the airplanes take off and I get like excited. Ah. I'm nervous. Adrenaline, I guess. Yeah, I've been having a little burst of adrenaline all morning long as we're waiting. And I really don't think it's gonna hit me until we're on the plane and then I'm gonna start hyperventilating. <laughs> All right, Kyle, tell me what we're about to do. Jump out of a plane and about to skydive. Yeah, why are we doing that today? I gotta go find the right Pokemon, that's all. <laughs> that's awesome, that's awesome. You nervous? Yes, I'm very nervous. Yeah. I'm about to jump out of a plane for the first time. <laughs> Hell yeah, I'm nervous. 
Are you excited too, though? Yes, very excited. Okay, I'm okay, gonna okay. Up. I'm going to ask you again halfway up on the plane, and hopefully those nerves have come down a little bit, <laughs> and the excitement's come up a little bit. Uh, it might be the opposite then. <laughs> all right, all right, I guess we'll see when we get there, huh? Awesome, dude, awesome. Well, hey, let's go jump out of a plane together. Let's do it. Heck yeah. great what was your favorite part like the first five seconds yeah. that was the best part of the entire thing the free fall was not what i expected it to be at all it was great i loved it i told him the worst part is when you're just you turn the parachute you speed up oh, no. yeah. <laughs> i don't like the feeling of falling when you're that high up you don't really feel like you're falling it's kind of just like you're there right Woo. but that was dope that Thank was yeah. really dope would you do it again not today. <laughs> Not today. <laughs> but one day. One day, sure. I'll All right. All right. Hey, thanks for jumping with us, man. Thank you. Bro. Great job. Great job. Okay, so we are fresh off the skydive. Still catching my breath. I gotta say, it was pretty fucking incredible. It exceeded all expectations. They asked me if I would do it again. I said, Not today. <laughs> But to be honest, I think if we went to like Hawaii or something, or we were on vacation, or probably next week, according to Hector, <laughs> you know, I definitely would be down to do it again. But the best part was like when you first jump out, because like you think it's gonna be terrifying, because you know, it's like when you fly in an airplane and you think about the airplane going down or you having to jump out or emergency landing or something, you think it's the most scariest, terrifying thing in the world. Well, I guess maybe the difference is I have a trained instructor with a parachute on my back this time, and if that happened, that wouldn't. So I think that would be pretty scary anyways, but, but still, like, you think when you first jump out, it's gonna be terrifying, but it really isn't because it's kind of like, the ground is so big that it's kind of like, you're just, I don't, how, do you, how do you describe it? Like, it's not, you're not falling. Like, yes, you're falling, but it doesn't you're feel floating. like you're falling. But either way, it was incredible. Scariest part for me is when you pull the chute, and if you pull left or right, then you zoom up and go faster, and I don't need to fall any faster, like, because it's like when you first jump out of the plane, it's not like you're falling, but when they pull that parachute, then it's like you're falling. 
and then like, oh, are you doing this and that, like a roller coaster, and you get those butterflies I mean, in your stomach. It was. Uh, yeah, it did not seem like 50 seconds at all. It seemed like 15 seconds. My flight was actually really long because he said, he said to me when we were going down, he said, you wanna go fast? I said, no, no, no. He said, okay, it'll take us a couple minutes then. <laughs> so we came down like this. Yeah, yeah. What do you think, Hector? I thought it was great. Beyond exceeded my expectations. It was better than I thought, to be honest with you. I loved every part of it. Everything was great. There was one part that I did get really scared though when he was like adjusting um, our harness. My harness, he has to kind of like loosen me up a bit. Sounds weird. <laughs> but that was scary. That was so scary. For a second, I was like, what are you doing? <laughs> what did you think? It was amazing. I had no butterflies, nothing. What? You weren't scared at all? No. I was waiting for it and oh my god it was just a blast Dang. i did not want to stop free falling <laughs> <laughs> okay one hell of a day literally been here since nine o'clock this morning it's three o'clock in the afternoon now we got another free t-shirt for sky jive sky sky jiving sky jumping sky diving I think it sky jiving <laughs> sky and for the low low price of four grand we can become licensed sky divers Sky jumpers, sky divers. Sky diver. But it was really dope. I would do it again. I would love to like go on vacation or some shit, be in Hawaii or Hong Kong or some shit, and they're like, hey, you wanna go skydiving? Fuck! Yes, I wanna go skydiving. I'm down for it. <laughs> so until next time. You guys wanna say bye? <laughs>